what has happened with the GameStop is that for the first time in our financial market, we have had coordination of small investors that get together through technology in order to push stock prices up. And this is new because by so doing, they have hurt, have hurt it a lot institutional investors and particularly hedge funds. So that's, for me, what is shocking about this event, not so much that there are source sellers, but the fact that through information sharing and through network, through Reddit, investors, they collude in order to push prices up. It, it was described as a sort of David and Goliath story, wasn't it? Is, is that accurate? Exactly. You see, what happened normally in financial markets is you have these big players, the Black Rocks and the Fidelities and the pension funds and the mutual funds that dominate trade, and they, they, they drive prices. Whenever one of these institutional investors makes a big trade, stock prices go up. And so far, that goes fine, and that was acceptable. For the first time in the GameStop episode, individual retail investors had the same market power. And that, of course, I think they shake the foundations of financial markets, and that's why uh, institutional investors and regulators went after the platform, Reddit, and after uh, Robinhood, the internet uh, uh, broker that was facilitating the trades. Um, it, this was a big financial story for 48 hours, maybe three days. But are there any longer-term repercussions you can see in it? I think what, the, what this episode shows is that technology creates a new financial system in which, through information sharing and by allowing individuals to coordinate, then we're giving market power and then power at the end of the day to individual, possibly uninformed investors, which is to me a new order. Because as I said so far, financial markets were oligopolies in which retail investors had no impact whatsoever on trades, uh, sorry, on prices. Now this changes. So technology changing the way trades are made. So uh, th this means the big beasts of Wall Street uh, were they humbled? Which, of course, the whole world would like to see. <laughs> yeah, as, and that, that's why you have seen this fierce reaction. Not so much because at the end of the day you had a bunch of short sellers who suffered massive losses. It is because now we are confronted with a new situation in which prices are truly predictable. That is, you cannot control them because they depend on a very, very volatile uh, sentiment. And in particular, but it depends on the force of individuals and, as I said, uninformed investors. Is this something, Arturo, for the average investor, the, the sort of informed amateur? Yes, I think that the danger of all of this at the same time is that we go to market without knowing what we're exposed to. And in GameStop, we have seen source sellers, security lenders, hedge funds, individual investors, pension funds, all together. And that's very complicated. I think it's very important for individuals, um, you know, small investors, that when they enter the markets, they need to understand the, rule of, the rules of markets. And, and, and they probably it, don't, because those markets are so dominated by the big hedge funds, aren't they? It's exactly. And, and, and the hedge funds and the, the other institutional investors, they know the rules. To me, the worry is that we think that financial markets, they are simple because we can have access to an online trader where we can put our money and then we can buy stocks. And they say, wow, this is great. There is much more to it. And if there's anything that we need to learn from this episode is that there is need for more financial education. And Robin Hood, GameStop, Reddit, are we seeing the rules or the future investing change because of what happened during those 48 hours? Yes, I think with financial market, we have seen the same disruption as in many other industries in which the ecosystem enlarges. And now we have players, particularly technology players, that are a very important part of financial markets as well. Online brokers, uh, social networks and social platforms, they are not as undesirable as we could think because they bring more information to markets and they make them more efficient. But, of course, they would probably need different rules because the rules that apply to the traditional financial institution cannot apply to a new financial institution called Reddit or called Robinhood. Arturo Briss, many thanks to you for joining us here on the agenda. Thank you.